as Los Angeles gears up for the 2028 Olympic Games, what kind of collaboration with international sister cities are in discussion, are in the pipeline? And what kind of cooperation do you want to see happening between now and the Los Angeles Olympics? Well, it's, it's very important that we, uh, that we learn from other cities. We are also part of C40. That's a really great uh, platform for cities to share knowledge. Now, with the Olympics specifically, uh, we have uh, been uh, building a very close cooperation with, uh, with the city of Paris that has uh, successfully, very successfully hosted uh, the 2024 Olympic and Paralympic Games. Um, so we have been uh, sharing knowledge with, uh, with Paris uh, and uh, we have had uh, m many people from Los Angeles uh, going to Paris to observe uh, how they're addressing many of the issues that we are going to have to deal with uh, when the Olympics come to Los Angeles. And really the biggest one is how to get people around. The LA 28 Olympic Games and Paralympic Games uh, will be a transit first. Uh, we really try to discourage people from using individual vehicles uh, to get around during the Olympic Games. Uh, so there are many things that we are looking forward to uh, implementing, but also learning from, uh, from recent Olympic cities, uh, including Paris and Tokyo, and also helping uh, the next Olympic city, Brisbane, Australia, uh, learn from us and learn from all of this experience. But it really, I think, gets to the point that cities uh, are always looking to each other. We, we deal with so many of the same challenges, whether it's uh, around getting people around, uh, it's about the cleanliness of our air, uh, how we use uh, decisions we make about how we use our land, all of those things uh, cities share in common. So um, we're very excited uh, to welcome the world to Los Angeles in 2028 and to take the best uh, from what um, our, our predecessor cities uh, as Olympic hosts have, have done uh, and, make, and make it the best games ever.